What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993, episode number 214 of WWE Turn Alert. Within October, September, August, July, June or July, around there, I have now done a Turn Alert on this person three times. Three times I've done a turn alert on this person. Of course, I have not been keeping up well with Monday Night Raw or SmackDown as well since SummerSlam. Like I said, I've just... I got nothing to talk about when I will live with either of those shows right now. But I do at least keep up on the turn alerts. And I want to go back and see what's been going on. So we've got Piper Nevin. I'm sorry, Dewdrop. Piper Nevin, a.k.a. Dewdrop. Who, again, likes that name. And basically, it's another Shorty G gimmick, basically. It's just another name that Vince McMahon picked to laugh his ass off at, and it's just so immature of him. But besides that, let's look at this story here. Dewdrop turned heel on a November 8th, 2021 episode of Raw. They had a very, very outrageously bad segment with all the women from the Raw roster arguing over... Who got picked to be on Team Raw for Survivor Series? Even though they were just randomly picked, and for no reason, people lost spots and people earned those spots, which made absolutely no sense for what I'm hearing from other people who haven't actually been keeping up on Raw and SmackDown, unlike me. So, Dewdrop took exception to Bianca Belair getting a spot and getting an opportunity. Uh, the fight for well, she had an op- she, she was in that fatal five way match, which consisted of all five members on Team Raw for Survivor Series for the women's team. Uh, she took exception to Bianca Belair getting an opportunity in that match because Bianca's had several opportunities already, and then she turns heel by coming out and attacking Dewdrop. I mean, and attacking not herself, attacking Bianca, costing her the match, and that set up for a feud between Bianca Belair and Dewdrop for after Survivor Series. So they turn her heel again, and it again makes me baffled and wonder, what the heck was the point of even making her a babyface? What point of even bringing her for the main roster anyways? What's the point of even NXT at this point? We'll get to that later when we get to the releases. What in God's name is the point? What's the point of anything they've done with Piper Nevin? They didn't even have to call her Dewdrop at this point. You know, I thought they were going to call her Dewdrop just, be, just for the story with her and Eva Marie. Then they split them up, like, immediately. They released Eva Marie. So it's like, now what? Is, is this just a random heel turn just to get Bianca Belair somebody to work with after after Survivor Series? Because you've already killed her momentum. Like, how's... If, you're, if, it's the, if his idea is to have a different heel, not Becky Lynch be the one to give Bianca her momentum back, why are you getting to someone you've already worn out like like... Like Piper Nevin. Not a good good idea here. It's just... And again, is anything WWE does not work a good idea? This is just a pointless, stupid heel turn that just made no sense. The next one we talk about, too, for episode 215 will also make no sense. Wait till we get to that one. And the one after that. And the one after that. And the one after that. That's why I don't talk much WWE anymore, because nothing makes sense. I can at least do these turn alerts to just say, hey, this is what happened, and it sucks. That's it. I can't find any positives out of this. Because with you, these random ass turns, these random releases, like there's nobody left. Like, the roster feels like it's more and more contagious with what Vince wants. There's like almost nothing left to even look forward to in this company. Nothing. <laughs> they're not going to press another reset button. They're not going to come out and basically say, we want to give you what you want. You never gave us what we wanted, for crying out loud. But yeah, do drops a heel just because, and it makes no sense. She's been wasted already on the main roster. She's turned three times now. She turned heel when she got called up. She turned face on Eva Marie. Then she turned heel again for no reason. So, I'm out of options. What are your thoughts on do drop being a heel? I'm sorry, do drop being a heel. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Slap a like on the video. Subscribe for more content to come to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at DemandAirBoy93. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert.